Hey guys, what's up? This is Jen, and today we're going to talk about moving up the neck horizontally, playing triads in the key of C on the first and second string. So I know that sounds uh, like a lot of information, but let me just play it for you first, and then we're going to go over it and talk about how you can utilize it and the notes that you're using. So first, I'm just going to play it. Okay, now let's talk about the notes and the shapes and then why you want to use this and practice this uh, in your routine. Routine. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to speak one of these days. Not today, though. So first, let's look at, we're going to start on the second string, and that's where your root is going to be always. So we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So this is going to be your anchor right here on the second string. So we've got C, open E, G. That's your C triad. C, E, G. C, E, G. So that's your C chord. Now we have a D minor chord, D, F, A. Or we're on the third fret, second string. Now we move to the first string. First, fifth, D, F, A, D, F, A. There's your D minor chord. Now, we have E minor, which starts on the second string, fifth fret. E, G, B, E, G, B, or five, three, seven. And that's your E minor chord. Then we're moving to an F major. F, A, C. F, A, C. Or think six, five, eight. Six, five, eight. That's your F major. Then we have G major. G, B, D, G, B, D, or 8, move to the first string, 7, 10, 8, 7, 10, there's your G, move up now to A minor, A, C, E, A, C, E, or 10, move strings, 8, 12, 10, 8, 12, that's your A minor. Then we have a B diminished. B, D, F, B, D, F, or 12, move strings, 10, 11, I'm sorry, t <laughs> 12, 10, 13, 12, 10, 13, and that's your B diminished. And then back to the C. C, E, G. C, E, G. Or 13, 12, 15. 13, 12, 15. Those are all of the chords that you have available to you in the key of C. C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, B diminished, back to the C chord. Okay. So now this is a cool way to move if you want to practice your soloing because it keeps you out of what we are calling like the pattern shape where you may know a scale but you're stuck right here. 
So I really want to focus on moving you guys up the neck this way. I think it's so, so, so important. So what I would like you to try is I would like you to try putting them together in maybe groups of two or four if you need to. So let me demonstrate what that's going to look like. So let's do a group of four. D minor. E minor. So then if you're feeling good about that, try to descend and let's do it so that there's only two this round. So we're descending with only two. Here we go. B diminished. A minor. G. F. E minor. D minor, C. Then of course, ideally, you want to be able to just do uh, one round each and try to push your tempos so that you're, you're able to see everything and move your fingers quickly across the neck. Um, to solo, to have fun, to think of like lead ideas, because it's real nice if you know you have something like this going. You're playing with a rhythm guitar player, and you don't want to do exactly the same thing that they're doing. I mean, you can do different shapes, but what if they're like uh, come up with a, a lead line or a lead part? Or do let's just talk about a chord progression. Let's do C. G, A minor, F. Let's see if I can remember that. So C, G, A minor, F. So you see, because we're playing the triad, we're playing the chord, but we're arpeggiating it in a very different way than, than if you would, like, in an open position. It moves in a different way, so it opens you up for completely different uh, sonic space that gets filled. And that's what you want, especially when you're playing um, with somebody or if you're doing overdubs for your own stuff. Uh, you don't want to just play everything right here on the neck or right here on the neck or right here on the neck. But because the guitar is so pattern based, we like our little chunks. We like to put the capo on and hang out here, which is totally fine. I love the capo. I love playing with the capo. But it's always nice to try to expand uh, what you can see outside of the chunks of the neck. So the chunks of the neck are your, is a great place to start, but now I want to take you guys to the next level and say, okay, how do I move this way instead of just this way? Um, so what I'd like you to do with this one is practice it again. Even if you need to do rounds of uh, eight, it doesn't matter how many, how many rounds you do to, to be able to see where the next triad is but put it to a metronome that's really, really important and then start pushing your tempos. Again, you're moving, you're forcing your fingers to move a little bit faster and you're forcing your brain and your eyes to move faster to see the next chord shape before you get there. It's really important, but man, it's gonna open up your playing 
in a way that I think you guys will be really excited about. So give it a try. We can talk about different keys too if you want. We can do uh, different string sets as well. Um, the, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> so just let me know if you're liking this stuff or if you need some help. Um, I can try to help you out. Uh, as always, this is a Patreon supported video. I have amazing patrons that um, continue to help me live and eat and be creative and do what I want to do by doing these videos and helping um, people learn how to play my favorite instrument of all time. So I just want to thank them and say if you're interested in supporting, please go to www.patreon.com slash gentranny and you can find out what rewards I got going on, what I'm trying to, what goals I'm trying to get to to, to bring you guys better tutorials and mashups and covers. <laughs> my camera just went out. My camera was tired of me talking. It was like, I'm done. I'm done listening to you talk. That's how all my friends feel, too, that they just hang up on me. They hang up on me and they say, they say that they've lost service. They tell me, oh, sorry, my service is bad. <laughs> I've dropped the call. But I think that they just hang up on me because they don't want to hear me talk anymore. And quite honestly, I can't blame them. I can't blame them one bit. So <laughs> thank you for uh, everybody who supports these videos and for watching. And I hope you have a great time with this and I will talk to you very soon.